<laughs> that's somehow off screen. <laughs> All right, so we have Phil in his classic red Pika hat, and then we have Mando in his blue. Doesn't land on side plat, so he's not able to get that free follow up with the up air. Yeah, and uh, Mando just kind of fishing out, hoping uh, Phil drops there from the plat. Uh, Phil opting just to run away and reset neutral. So I, I don't know if uh, Phil has been playing many Pika Dittos this tournament, but I did see Mando playing against Mustacher earlier mm -hmm. this tournament. He did actually end up taking that set 2-1. That was a pretty close one, wasn't it? It was. It was very intense to watch. Oh, incredible uh, up smash there. Yeah. Uh, I really like up smash on ledge against Pikachu. Um, because they go too far in, then the strong hit will uh, straight up KO them. Right. And if it hits the tail end, you can actually just chain that into a back air at most percents. And it's actually at percents where up tilt want to connect into back air, so it's quite useful. Yeah, especially at like those higher percents, like 96 or whatever. It's almost, I think it's more optimal to up smash rather than up tilt in that yeah. situation. Because it's not like up smash is such a long move that it's risky. Mm -hmm. It's got a like enough cooldown to where you don't want to spam it, but not enough to where like you just want to stray away from it the whole time. Absolutely. Phil getting that back throw, bringing it back to pretty much even. Okay, Mando yeah, getting some up airs, starting to get that damage. And uh, Phil just trying to find positioning again. Mondo not making it easy, just kind of controlling that center stage. Wow. And a great read there, just going high. We see that up smash again, but Phil opts to go in the middle this time, but it's just not enough. We see a taunt. We see a double taunt. What is he doing? I think he's taunting. <laughs> I think he's feeling himself. I'd say so. All right. So Phil <laughs> showing a little bit of gusto himself, though. And uh, Mondo opting to go high twice in a row. Second one does pay off for him. Still at a percent where the edge guards aren't going to be completely deadly, but percent matters a lot in this matchup. It's very hard to make comebacks. That was a, such a slick uh, flat land to down tilt. And I think we're seeing exactly why Mando decided to taunt there. Because it's, I don't know, it, I feel like if he hadn't, then Phil wouldn't have done it just there, and he wouldn't have let him back on stage. And we got a taunt battle now. And the magical 64% to back up Phil. We'll see what he can make of it. No, not much. Oh. I'm just trading, uh, swapping up airs here. Uh, it is weird, but at 0%, like if you're hitting a Pikachu at 0% with up air, you're not really safe. It's just not enough uh, hit stun for it to really convert to anything. Misses the tech, and Mando capitalizes. Get that back throw. But yeah, at that uh, at that higher level plays, we actually see players just up being right after up airing a low percent Pikachu, just to stay in a safe area again. But uh, onto this match, um, good safe tech read from Phil there. Uh, reads high again, makes the correct read, but just barely misses. Phil just needs a grab or a back air to get the kill, but Mondo just making it so tough for him. Absolutely, putting himself in the right situation there. Um, can make anything, any any character feel pressured and stuffed. Oh, misses Ooh. the double jump. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Yeah, uh, that could have been, you know, that's a pretty much a win swing into a, like, not an even game, but a very doable game for Phil now. Yeah, and I mean, you see Mando when he gets uh, Phil back on stage, when he gets that forward air, he decides to jump instead of, Oh, he knocks know, the jump. Again, makes a, a good read, but just not quite in the correct position. Floats out that nair to cover the tech. Oh, that could have been a grab. Up east the ledge, up east the ledge again. Finally goes back on the top plat and somehow maintains a stage control after swatting him with that up air. Oh, and he gets the back air, sneaks it in. It's not going to kill, but it's going to put him in a bad position. And then that back throw will seal the deal on game one. Yeah, and Mondo uh, using that up smash on ledge, knowing that it won't always pan out. Uh, but Phil hasn't been really edge canceling his up Bs, so he knows he can just use a little bit of coverage to jump up and F air or just like get another grab to get the KO. Absolutely. I love your shoes, by the way. Oh, are those blue you. suede? Yeah. So are mine. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to the match. So we can see first blood from Mando here. Putting Phil off stage, but Phil fires right back. Oh, and the triple grab. Love that. It's so cool looking. But it kind of makes you go, really? Does Pikachu really need a triple grab? 
You should see him on Yoshi. He's got like five in a row. <laughs> and then we see the double up air into back air. Classic Pika combo. Somewhat hard to hit. Uh, if you practice it enough, it, it becomes a little bit easier, but it's super flashy, super fun to see. Yeah, Mondo just looks, uh, he looks pretty comfortable in this matchup. Uh, Phil isn't really too behind, um, but I think he'll need like a pretty strong opening if he wants to take this game. Yeah, and almost gets that double grab there, which would have been a pretty strong opening for sure. Okay, gets that forwarder and gets that magnet hands grab. And oh, weeds. and again. Okay, and that should be it. Not quite gonna kill. Never mind. And nice edge cancel on the up B. Yeah, Saves Phil, Phil's life. Phil kind of needed that. Uh, it's something that he's been looking for earlier in the set um, and just hasn't been getting it. I think he's going to need those a little more, especially at higher percent, to just stay safe from Mondo's uh, coverage that he's choosing with his up tilts and or up smash. And that's just kind of following up otherwise if he lands on the plat. And what you're seeing here is a lot of Pika neutral. Um, you kind of usually want to approach with back air and, and nair. Your fares aren't really going to outspace anything. It's a good combo tool. It's a good way to start things like that. But when you're at that high of a percent, the back air is going to trade and just going to beat you out. So, yeah. I do enjoy uh, Pikachu's that have good use of forwarder, though. Absolutely. Just since it comes out so quick, you can kind of interrupt uh, like their positioning. It doesn't always lead to much, but if you can just put them off the groove a little bit, it might open up your other aerials a little bit more. Oh, and a great single zip from uh, Mondo. Um, but uh, Phil more than ready, knowing that Mondo just eager to get back on stage. Going to let go and jump, and he just snatches him right up. Right, and that forward air and a grab. Good stuff from Phil. Oh, Mondo, Mondo gets it. Just running right into his space. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Okay. Phil gets that, though. Ooh. And again, right in his face. Oh, another one. Another one? Oh, just barely misses that off smash. Doesn't even need the thunder. <laughs> and Phil, uh, that's the opening I was talking about. Um, puts him up uh, two stocks to one. Just really, uh, really on it with those edge guards. He made just about every one of those calls correct. Okay. Good mix-up from uh, Mando there, uh, mixing up his uh, single hit. short hop and weight back air to a short hop back air immediately. And that should take that stock, and we're pretty much at even here. Yeah, uh, Phil, slight, slight advantage. Um, kind of opposite but of what he had last game, but Mondo just trying to open him up here with that up smash. Barely gets that weak back here. Oh, nice. Good punish. Oh, and the weak back here, uh, not enough, but oh, just great calls all over the place from Mondo when it came to the edge guarding, and I think that might have been just the, the difference he needed for this matchup with how close they were playing the whole time.